Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle Lightbox. So let's get started. So first of all, what exactly is a Lightbox and why it is used in the web applications? That I will show you first. For that, I'll open the browser and search for two terms, that is a Lightbox, Lightbox space website, okay? So Lightboxes are generally displayed on the web application pages, guys, okay? So I'll show you some examples of this Lightbox uh, and how this Lightbox will be displayed on the website and what is the purpose of they getting displayed on the website pages. For that, I'll go to the images. Here, we'll get a lot of examples for the Lightbox, guys, okay? So here, let's pick this one. I'll speak about different uh, varieties of Lightbox and different purposes of using the Lightbox on the applications. For example, this website is displaying this Lightbox, you see? The background will be grayed out, guys, you see? When the, once the Lightbox is displayed, right, the uh, backside or background will be grayed out. The focus will be there on the Lightbox, okay? That's why it's called as a Lightbox, where the light is there and remaining all, you know, grayed out. And here, every Lightbox will have a cross button, okay? So to close the Lightbox. And here, the purpose of this particular application to display this Lightbox is to they are giving some free resource. You have to give your name and email so that uh, these resources will be emailed to you. Okay. That's one purpose. Some other website, if you go to this another website, guys, okay, they are also displaying this kind of light, light box for advertisement or offer purpose. Okay. You see a light box is there. You're getting 10% off. Okay. So continue shopping is coming. And here you see X button is there to close the light box and the background is grayed out. Okay. It's very easy to, they look simple like images, uh, images, guys. Okay. Uh, pretty UI will be there for the light box and uh, some image will be there, some message will be there and you close button will be there and background will be grayed out. We can simply identify that, okay? Now in some cases to display the images, right, okay? So images, okay, if you have this uh, collection of images uh, to be displayed, right? Uh, if you want to go right, left, right, these images will be highlighted and uh, popped out on the web pages in the form of a light box. The X button is there here to close the light box and all. So this is another website for free shipping kind of thing, you know, many places guys. Okay. I'll show you one real time application where uh, Lightbox is used for login purpose. Also. You can log in with the help of Lightbox guys. Okay. To enter the uh, account details uh, to log in, right? Credentials to log in, right? We have to use Lightbox in this application. I'll go to the flipkart.com page. And uh, here there is a login button. Guys, click on the login button. When you click on the login button, whatever you are getting on the screen is nothing but a Lightbox guys, you see. So Lightbox is coming with a cross button and the background got grayed out, okay? Find some other website I'll take you where the Lightbox is used for a different purpose. Well, Lightbox can be used for different purposes like for login purpose, for advertisement purpose, for offers for purpose, for free download purpose, okay? To collect your email purpose, to display the images purpose, to uh, pop, uh, pop out this uh, videos purpose, okay? Many things it's possible, guys. I'll go to one of the page, product page, click on this. And here I got this collection of images. I'll click on one of the image. You see the image is getting opened in a light box. Okay. You see cross button is there. The background got grayed out. I can move between here and there. Okay. For this purpose also, the light box is being used. So I showed you a lot of examples for the light box guys, but coming to Selenium guys, we have to handle the light box. Okay. Whenever the light box comes, we have to close it, right? Okay. We have to close it. So how to close the light box for that? It's very simple guys. Okay. So though light box looks like a separate thing, when I click on this, you see this image is coming on the top uh, in the form of a light box and it feels like there's a separate thing, which is a different thing from the page, web page, which is in the background. But it's not like that, guys. Light box is part of the same page only. The HTML code of this light box is part of the same HTML page that is there in the background, okay? HTML code of this light box is part of the HTML code of this HTML page that is in the background, okay? So you can inspect, guys, okay? If you right click on this close button and you will get an inspect option, you see? You don't have to switch to the light uh, light box guys. Okay, to perform operations on the light box, you don't have to switch. Like you switch to the alerts, right? Here to handle the light boxes, you don't have to switch because these elements are part of the same HTML page only. Okay, on the default HTML page only, these elements are there. Directly inspect and perform the operations. Create the locator for this cross button and perform the operations on the light box. Now let me practically demonstrate how to handle the light box in Selenium Python for you here. No need to switch like uh, switching to the alerts in case of light box. Though it looks like a separate entity, but uh, Lightbox is part of the same HTML page. Directly, you can perform operations, guys. Selenium automation operations we can perform as it's part of the same HTML page. We can inspect the elements also. I showed you just now. So this is one example of the Lightbox. Guys. Just now I showed you this example, right? If you go to this page and click on one of the image, right, you'll get the Lightbox. So how to handle this Lightbox? I'm going to practically demonstrate now. For that, I'll open this uh, PyCharm ID. 
where some samples selenium python code is written for demonstrating the previous session while demonstrating the previous session i have written this code guys i'm clearing this code i'll remove this url also in place of this url i'm going to provide this url this page url okay so the hp product page url i'm giving where i have these images when i click on the image like the images will open in the light box okay for that reason i'm directly going to this web page and uh, press provide the url after that after going to this page guys i want to click on one of this image here i'll inspect this image I'll click on this image and this image will get opened in the light box okay i want to get some light box that's the only purpose you see how to how to locate this you see there is a title here for this image image uh, title art something is there and is there any other stuff apart from this yeah that's it i can go with the title guys okay copy the title and you know create an xpath expression double slash image at the right title is equal to like that you can write it doesn't have any other type of locators right at the right uh, uh, title is equal to give the title and press enter you see two of three are coming okay two of three you see all the images are getting located so i have to give let's say give one this is also not working so sir, if it is not working surround this uh, xpath expression with the circular brackets and give one then it is a possibility that only one image will be located you see this time one of one locator and when i press enter here you see the, only this image is getting located copy that and come back here and uh just for demo purpose give time dot sleep guys okay time dot uh, sleep for demo purpose just give three seconds only nothing much and after that import this time okay then now write down private dot find element y dot x path of that image if i click on that image if i perform dot click operation on the image what will happen the image will be clicked okay the image will be clicked and this image will get opened in the light box format now i want to for demo purpose i just want to add time dot sleep again time dot sleep and here i would like to give another three seconds just for the demo purpose i am giving this time dot sleep guys okay so then after three seconds what i want to do is i want to close this uh light box okay inspect this uh thing and you see the cross button is there title also you can take no problem copy this title and simply say control a of double slash button uh, at the rate uh, title is equal to give the title press enter okay you see the cross uh, x button is getting uh, you know located copy this and simply write down driver dot find element by dot x path give that uh, x path expression of that uh, close button of this uh, light box okay give this x path expression which will locate this uh, close button on the light box and simply say dot uh, click it will click on this uh, cross button and uh, run the script guys just run the script here it'll open the firefox browser maximize the browser window open this application url then click on that image and you know after three seconds it will close the light box okay it will open the light box and close the light box you can see everything happening on the page just see so now it should go to this page and after three seconds it has to click on you know we got the light box after three seconds it has to close the light box you see everything is working fine it's nothing much guys. you don't have to write separate uh, commands to switch to the light box that is not required here directly can perform the operations on the light box okay because they are part of the same html page on which they are getting displayed so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye